part of a growing trend of international disengagement. President Trump is taking the U.S. out of more than just UNESCO. He also said the U.S. would pull out of the Paris climate deal, and he walked away from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. He's also threatened to undo the South Korean trade deal, the North American Free Trade Agreement with Canada and Mexico, and possibly the Iran nuclear deal. Still, this is not the first time the U.S. has left UNESCO. The decision to withdraw was made by President Reagan on the recommendation of the Secretary of State. The U.S. left in 1984 over what it said was a pro-Soviet bias, but it rejoined in 2002. Some analysts say this sends a dangerous message. This to me is a bad message, and it's a bad message because it says to our allies, we're not going to be a leader anymore. We're not going to play the kind of role that we promised to play after World War II. And to our would-be adversaries, it sends the message, aha, this may be an opening. The United States may be in retreat, and we can fill the void. The Trump administration often says the campaign pledge, America first, doesn't mean America alone. But it is looking more and more like that with each passing move away from the world stage. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.